everybody to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. And of course, welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see. And if so, be part of this journey with us by hitting that subscription button, which is free, and the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads that I come up with. I want to thank every single one of you for your thumbs up, your comments, your suggestions, opinions, sharing, tagging me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I also have a Facebook group, private group, um, that you can be part of as a member, as long as you have a profile uh, picture or profile period, and you will be approved. Um, there's a lot of scammers and a lot of fraud going on, especially with links that says bit or cut. And these frauds and scammers are all over the crochet groups now. So be careful. Don't open those links up. And for that reason, my group is private. I also have Instagram and uh, TikTok, uh, Facebook crochet page, also all in the same name, Crochet Art Tutorials by Maggie Lopez. You can find me on all social medias with the same name and same picture as on here uh, for the YouTube. Um, thank you so much for the women that have come through to help other women in need, either donating thread or donating money. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, so we are going to get started normally i use a 3.5 3 or 275 hook a little one to cut a uh, two tuck in little ends and um, of course a pair of scissors please don't forget to give a thumbs up always on the video not just on my channel but any other creator that you're involved with it's extremely important for us creators we cannot keep going on and spend so many hours and so much money on cameras on lighting on thread on hooks and so on you know how it is without us being recognized by youtube so please make an effort on that we really do appreciate you let's get started everyone thank you so much again Okay, everyone, I pretty much completed my five rows, as you can see. Of course, I ran out of the blue, but no problem. I have the white, which is fine because this has some white in it. And it will all match just the same. So you remember that we mentioned to keep this one aside. Now, in case you don't want to use this, all you have to do is just do the exactly same thing as we've done. Just continue through or use a different color without all of these because it's kind of hard to see through it. But once you get used to it, you're good to go. Okay, so here we had done one chain. This whole row all the way around will be singles per double crochet. Okay, and when we get to the corners where we have the increase, so if we did five alone, now we're going to have six singles alone and two together on the sixth one. We have to continue the increases, okay? So we've closed in here, and now I am going to come back in. on the next one, let's say, and do a single, okay? I'll do my increase when I come around. So I have my first single. And then keep going. Now it's much easier because we're right up top. We're not having all that thread mixing us up. So one single per space i'll meet you at the corner okay okay so now we've reached where we have the increase and like i said we're going to do the increase two together i'm going to take my marker and put it already on the next one which is the second single Right after we've done the increase, and then now you do um, six singles, and then 
because the previous row we did five double crochets, went in on the sixth. So now you do six singles and go in your seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, and here we do our increase. Just keep remembering we have six increases counted from the first one, second, third, fourth, until here. And then just continue singles all the way through and do the same thing at the other edge. I'll come back to you at the end of all my row. Okay, everyone. So I've done all my singles and I've also done my increase where I needed to. I'm at the end and I'm going to come in my first single with a slip stitch. Okay. Now I'm going to come in again and I'm going to do a single chain two. This will equal a double crochet. I'm going to come back in the same one and do four more. So I'm going to have a total of five double crochets in the same space. We're going to do popcorn. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to come into my second chain that we went up because we went up a single and two chain. And I'm going to pull my thread through it. If I can, right? Of course, there's a lot of threads on here. So if I don't get it through it properly, I'm going to be pulling on my threads. It's always hard it is the first one because of those chains going up. I'm going to do chain two. I'm going to skip a space and I'm coming into the next one and do again five double crochets for the popcorn. This whole row will be like this of popcorns. Now, so from one marker, Okay, the, um, I'm going to place this properly because it's not properly placed on my last one here of the increase. So we're going to be doing the popcorn. We need 32 popcorns from this marker to this marker just before it, 32 popcorns. And then from the marker, to the next one, we need 20 popcorns. So even if you have made a mistake somewhere, um, you have too much singles, just jump. There's nothing wrong with that. Or you're short, then don't, um, don't skip, squeeze them in. You need to have 32. So that's not a big issue. Okay, just remember you need five double crochets and come on the first one and pull through. One, two chains, skip a space into the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna continue mine. Remember that from here on this side to here, just before the marker, 32 popcorns, and from the marker to the next, 20 popcorns on both sides, of course, okay? So 32 on this side, 32 on this side, 20 on here, and 20 on the other side. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished doing all my popcorn. So 20 from here in to here. And then 32 from here to the other one. Now, I've closed in with slip stitch on my first popcorn. And now on this flat side here, we are going to come in. So I have a slip stitch. I'm going to come directly. You could even do one chain if you'd like, if, it's, if you have a tight uh, tension. I'm going to come directly 
in between the space of this first popcorn here. And we're going to do two singles, okay? Neck space, two singles, neck space. So we're going to do this until we reach the other marker. We are supposed to have 63 singles, but I think we need to make an adjustment here. Uh, probably we have to put the 63rd inside of this one here. I will check as we get there, but continue to do your two singles per space in between the popcorns. Okay, so just go directly. One, two, into the next space. One, two. Just make sure you count them before you get to the pop, uh, the marker there at the edge, okay? Okay, you guys, so I've reached basically where my marker is. We have 62 singles, but we need 63, so we're going to do one where the marker was. So that's my 63 plus two more for our increase because we are at the corner. Okay, put your marker on the last one here. Now, remembering that down here on the single, on the double crochets, we had um, six alone and then increase on the seventh. Now we need to do again seven singles. So starting from here now, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is our seventh, let's say alone, which is not alone, obviously. And inside the same space, we do our increase. So two more singles. So that means we'll have three singles on the same space. And then we start again. Seven singles and then your increase until we get to here. So you know that you have to, at some point, put three inside of the same space. Okay. So from the marker, we have two, four, six. Our seventh one is in here, plus two more for increase. And then we start again. Two, next space. Three, four, five, six, and seven. So we need two more here for increase, as we were doing the increase in the corners. Okay? I'll meet you where the marker is. Very simple. Okay, so I've reached the marker. I've done my seventh. I'm going to take out my marker. And I'm going to add my increase on the same space. So this last one has three singles. And add my marker on the last space. And then we're going to continue with the two um, singles again until we get to the other marker. And we most probably have to do our 63rd and we start again the two increase. Exactly how we just finished doing on this side. Okay, so 63 should end up where your marker is. And then you add two more increase of singles. And then you count again. Two, four, six... On your seventh, again, two increase. Exactly how we just finished doing. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much completed all my four rows of double crochets. On your flat sides, not the corners, you're supposed to have 67 double crochets, okay, on your last row. From the marker here, to the before marker here. So 67 double crochets. And of course here you're on your edge from marker to marker. 
you're supposed to have your two together and 11 double crochets alone and then two together total I believe of 268 double crochets 268 double crochets all together on this row okay this next row is very simple there is no increase it's just single crochet all the way around so I've closed in with a slip stitch I'm gonna do one chain and I'm coming in the back loops only and doing singles of course I'm grabbing all my threads here so single back loops only single we are not doing any increase at all so you're going to have the same total on this row 268 singles all the way around so i'll meet you at the end since there is nothing to do on this row except for singles okay and then when we come back we're going to complete the single on the one that we did one chain and moved over okay so i'll meet you at the end there is no increase just one single per space per double crochet okay okay everyone so pretty much done all the singles and now i'm going into this tan color like almost like i don't know light brown tan just because I don't have enough of this color, so this color will match perfectly. So I've taken out my markers. We don't need them anymore. So I'm going to come in on the, so we have the last increase here, as you can see, and then we have the singles up here. I'm just going to come in right on top of the last single or the one right after the last single we did with a single okay so we've closed in with slip stitch right after with a single try to get you a little bit closer now we're going to do three singles we're going to be building loops of seven chain and we need 30 of them so what happens is the 268 singles won't be enough. We'll be missing two singles. So we're going to have to adjust it as we're going now. So I've done my three singles and now I'm trying to hide my thread here. I'm going to do seven chains. So I have two, three, four, five, six, seven chain. I'm going to skip one two three four five six on my seventh I'm going to do a single so we're going to need 30 of these seven chains and that's why the singles on here won't be enough 268 we're going to make an adjustment so right after you do your seven chains again three chain again one two three four five six seven skip one two three four five try that again we have to go on the seventh one two three four five six on my seventh single we're going to do three singles again i'm going to make my first adjustment so we can have the 30 uh, loops of seven chain so instead of skipping my seven i'm only going to skip five so chain seven two three four five six seven and we're going to do that twice so this is the first time one two three four and five i'm going to go into my sixth 
and further up I'll do the same thing with the second one or on the other side. You don't do them one next to the other because it's going to look too obvious. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, skip one, two, three, four, five, six, go into your seventh. So once I've turned my corner here, I'm going to make that adjustment of skipping only five and going into my sixth. We have to have 30 loops like this. We're almost at the end. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. Okay, everyone. So I've reached the end. And I'm going to close in on my first single with a slip stitch. I'm going to do the walk. I call it the walk with a slip stitch to the center of my first loop here. So I have 30 loops. Make sure you have 30 loops. If you need to make an adjustment somewhere, I had to make two adjustments of skipping only five and went into my sixth. Yours could be probably just perfect right on. But there's 268 uh, singles on here. We're supposed to have 270 in order to do the 30 loops. But for some people, they might just have that and it's all good. Okay, so you need to pay attention to that. I'm going to come inside of my seven chain loop and create a single two chains. I'm going to create six more double crochets because that equals a double crochet. So seven double crochets all together and then one chain space and then seven more again all in the same loop. So I have two, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to do one chain, come back in and do seven more. These are going to be sort of like, um, uh, sort of a cover for the flowers that we're going to create in there, it's like um, petals, let's say. Three, four, five, six, and seven so we have a total of 14 double crochets separated space of one chain one two three four five six seven now where we have the middle of our single there let me just pull it up a bit here we have our middle single we're gonna come right on the the other row below actually not the other row below but right in this single right next to it we are going to do a single front post like that and then we're going to come back in again on the next chain of seven chains the loop i should say okay so front post and we're going to do those 14 double crochets again. So seven double crochets and then one chain space between them. This, of course, it's a small rug because my thread is smaller than Aunt Lydia. But if you were to use two strands of Aunt Lydia to do this rug, you'd have the perfect size for a bedroom or any room. It would be nice and big. Two, four, five six and seven one chain space and do your seven double crochets again so i have two three four five I wonder if I put a little bit more lighting here. It's probably going to be best. I don't want it to white out too much. Six. And seven. Okay. So two, four, six, seven. Again, we're going to come 
below on the middle one right here on the center we're going to go to the back to the side front and do a single front post and then back into the seven chain shell uh, seven chain loop sorry I know sometimes my mind gets tired of counting and 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 trying to to think of the next rows and so on okay so we're going to repeat this I know it looks funny now but once we have it um, on the next rows then everything falls into place okay so we're going to do this all the way around and I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so I pretty much finished doing my front single post I'm going to cut my thread because we're going to start making some green leaves so I'm just going to tuck in oh this is too small it's going to go like right through it So I'm just bringing my thread down and hide it in between the, the stitches back here so it can be secure. And I'm going to cut the excess off. Okay, everyone. So I'm coming in with fluorescent green. I wish I had. I do have a very dark army green, but I don't want to use the army green. I want it to stand out. So I'm going to use this fluorescent green. Even though I wish I had like a lime green, but I don't have in this number. Or multicolored green would have been beautiful for this, but I don't have. Okay, so we have the three singles that we didn't work where we did the front post, right? I'm going to come in the middle single, and I'm going to do a single, okay? And then I'm going to try to hide my thread here as I go. I'm going to do one two chain. This will equal my double crochet. I'm going to do it again. Five more chain. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to come back in the same single. So we're creating this uh, V loop, let's say. Might even cut down on this first one to four singles instead of five and then probably do the other ones because the first one is always the hardest one to to get it to smarten up right so single two chain and four more on my first one here i think i should be good with that hopefully we're going to do chain four one two three and four in the middle of the 14 double crochets, we have that one chain in the middle here. I'm going to come from behind in the center. Let me just pull up the camera a bit. Sometimes it's always best. So in that center from behind where we have that one chain. I was thinking about the purples and all that, but... Not yet, I guess. I'm not sure if I'll even use the purple. So I'm going to come right down and do a single in the center in the bottom there. And then chain four again. One, two, three, and four. We're going to repeat the same thing. Okay. 
So chain four, we're going to come behind where we have that front post in the middle. So we have the three singles right in the center. Oops, I'm going to do eight double crochet and one, two, three, four chain. I think four chain is enough for me, but if your tension is extremely tight, then do a five chain. Okay, so we're going to have these loops going on like this the whole row through where we have the front post. In the middle, we have those three singles back here. We did not work because we only worked in the middle, bottom one, remember? If you look well, we have the three singles here. One, two, and three. So right on the center one. We did a single and another single and two chain that equals a double crochet, four chain and double crochet, four chain and in from the back to the bottom and a single. Okay. Okay, everyone. So pretty much finished doing all of my V's, four chain single. And then double crochet, four chain, double crochet, four chain, single. I'm going to close up now. So we have the single and one, two chain. So on my second chain, I'm going to come in with slip stitch. I'm going to come inside of this V. We're going to do two groups of popcorn. That's going to be like the little bush leaf, if you want to call it single two chain i'm going to do four more so we're going to have a, tie, a total of five two three four and five i'm going to come on my second one which is the last one and i'm going to close my popcorn one two three chain I'm going to come, nope, not three chains, sorry. Getting over my head here. Okay, so I'm going to close it up. I'm going, I can't even remember. Good. Yes, I was right. So, two, three chain, okay. I'm going to come back in, in the center, and do a single one, two chain more. I'm going to come back in and I'm going to complete my five double crochets. That means with that single two chain is one double crochet. So now I have four. And five. I'm going to come back out again. Come on my second one and close my second popcorn. Okay. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chain and come into my other V and create again my popcorn five double crochets. We're going to do this all the way around the same way and then we're going to cut our thread and we're going to start our flowers. Two, four, five. A lot of details to this rug, but I think it's just stunning. And I wish I had better, proper combination of colors and this size. But unfortunately, oops, single, I don't have. So I had to create a tutorial on what I had and try to combine as closely, nicely as I possibly could with, you know, the color of threading that I do have. One, two, three, four. Still not too bad. I wish I had different. I would have really um, made this art piece uh, something else, but like in the reds or the purples, the lilacs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again. But I don't have the proper colors for it so or not enough colors to finish up 
in the colors that I wanted. But at least a tutorial is is being put out so it gives you an idea and you know what it looks like. One, two, three. And you guys can choose the proper colors and make a beautiful rug. So this is what it's gonna look like all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Oh, 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 oh